Chris Algieri. Welcome to the Champion Lifestyle. On today's episode of the Champion Lifestyle, we're talking about one of my favorite pieces of equipment, the double end bag or the reaction bag. This is the bag that you often see in the corners of boxing gyms. Uh, a lot of times you won't see too many people using them because they don't know how. Now this bag is not like a heavy bag. It's not something you're gonna hit hard. It's not something you're gonna try and, and get in there and, and, and beat up. This, this is a tool. This is a tool that you use on the side, you know, uh, uh, after a workout or at the beginning of a workout. You're working on timing, you're working on rhythm, and really what this bag is, it's a center line drill, which is the line that cuts you in half, has your nose, your chin, your solar plexus, your groin are all on that line, and we want to keep our head off that line while keeping our punches on that line. And whenever I throw strikes at this bag, that's what I want to aim for. I don't want to aim for the ball itself or the bag itself, I want to aim for that center line. And the key here is to always hit the bag while it's in its center position, when it's here. As you start to hit it, this thing's going to be flying all over the place. I'm not going to try and catch it. I'm going to try and time it so at the time that this comes back to the center is when my punch is going to land. Just like when you're facing your opponent, he's got good head movement, he's moving his head around. You don't want to chase his head. You want him to come back right into your strike, right into your punch. So I find it with my jab, then I'm going to find it with my right hand. Right down the middle. Find it with the jab, put that right hand behind me. Notice what just happened. I threw that right hand hard. The bag flew back and hit me in my shoulder. I can work on my head movements. The timing of that hook is important. If I throw too wide, I'm going to end up over here. If I throw it when the bag is back or forward, I'm going to miss it too. So timing for this is very important. And that's when I want to put my hook right behind my right hand. You can also use this bag for uppercuts. Time it. So when the bag's coming back to the center, okay, I can throw that in combination. Okay, I can throw that in combination. As long as my rhythm is right, I should hit that bag right when it comes back to the center. Really, there's, there's, there's an endless amount of things you can do in this bag in terms of combinations. Head movement, rolling, slipping, throwing, countering. It's really a, a great tool and you should definitely add it to your game.